Hello everyone and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons design video. Today I have five gap filler designs for your island that use just items. There are no custom codes here and the uh, well designs that you can see on the floors here, these are all the default ones that you can get from resident services when you reach three stars on your island and unlock terraforming. So if you like any of these designs, don't forget there are a heap more if you need more inspiration in a playlist above here, right now, right hand corner. <laughs> and you can also like, comment and subscribe I have so much content coming out and I also do live streams on Fridays so if you want to see any more content I have heaps on my channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell because I come out with these every week and uh, yeah if you like any of the designs let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section below and uh, give it a like because it helps the algorithm gods so I'm going to take you through each of these designs including all the items that I used and we're going to start with this first design here so for this design you're going to need these catalog items and DIYs so we're going to start by putting down our ironwood cupboard. Now this particular design doesn't use any anything on the floor, so we're just going to, yeah, just items. <laughs> so we've got an espresso machine and an afternoon tea set. And then we're going to put down a cupboard counter and we're going to make sure that it's just in front of the ironwood. So there's a little bit of a gap there. So once we've done that, we're going to be putting down our coffee cups. You can use anything here, but I thought the coffee cups uh, in this variation looked really nice with this design. So at the back here, we're going to be using a wooden bookshelf, but making sure that it's just the wood at the back showing. I'm going to put a shot right up against the ironwood cupboard. Now for the sides, we're going to be using storefronts in the red variation because the wood matches the cupboard counter and the bookshelf. I think it looks really cute here. But the key to remember for this one is to make sure that the uh, storefronts are in line with the back of the bookshelf. So in front of that, we're going to be putting some simple panels. The design on these simple panels are just one of the default ones. So we're just going to put down another one on the other side. And this is just to kind of cover up the storefront gap there. So we're going to push this all the way back. And in front of that, we're going to put some um, chefleras and we're going to put one on either side. Again, this is just to sort of fill that gap uh, in front of the storefront. Once we've done that, so just pushing that right in, we're then going to be putting in our counter chairs, making sure there's enough room. Sometimes you have to move around to get it in the right spot. So we're just going to turn them around to make sure they're facing the coffee cups. So we're just going to put this one down here, turn that around. And at the back here, we're just going to be putting down some trees. So I'm going to make sure that it's right there, uh, kind of in the corner. And we're going to do that on either side here. And this is the entire design. I really like this little coffee shop. I like the fact that it looks like there's quite of a dimension to it. And yeah, as I said, you're more than welcome to use this on your island. I love seeing the designs. So yeah. So for this one, we're going to need these catalog items and DIYs. So for this design, we're going to start with a rectangle that is about four by three. And then in front of this rectangle, right in the center, we're going to put down two squares. And those two squares in the center are going to be rounded in the corners. So just round that off. So once we've done that, we're going to be starting uh, out with our items. And the first thing we're going to put down is a cacao tree on the left hand side corner right here. Right next to that, we're going to be putting down a plant petition, making sure that it's the right way. And then next to that, we're going to be putting a barrel with some Casablanca lilies on top. So once we've done that, we're going to be putting in some more items in front of the barrel, starting with a wooden box with an anthurium plant on top. And we're just going to turn that around so it's facing front ways and from there we're going to be putting in our chairs so we're going to start with our metal and wood chair and we're going to put this right in the center of the plant petition and the actual square or rectangle itself so we're going to turn that around and then we're going to put in the metal uh, metal and wood table right in there and we're just going to put a uh, some pretzels on top making sure they turn around the right way too now we've got a wooden stool here, we're going to push this right up against the wooden box with some paradise planting candles on top. Reason being is that the red kind of blends in with the rest of the kind of woody tones that we've got. Then we've got a stool there with a terrarium on top and then we're just going to use azalea bushes. You can use whichever bushes you like and we're just going to put the azalea bushes in the front here to give it a bit more dimension. So this is our little seating area here with bushes in front. I really quite like this. I think this would look really cute if it was next to some buildings or even a cliff. So let me know what you think of this design as well and if you're going to try it on your island. So for this design, we're going to need these catalog items and these DIYs. 
So we're going to start with a 4x5 rectangle. So we're just going to go 4 across, then we're going to go 5 up, and then we're going to go across again, and we're going to fill in this entire space. So once we've done that, we're going to start putting in our items. And the first item we're going to start with is a plant petition. So we're just going to move that into space. Now it's okay to have it just over the um, stone there. I'm going to do the same with this one. So we've got two plant petitions side by side. Now once we've done that, we've got a flower display case. I'm going to make sure it's right up against the plant petition. And we're just going to put a bonsai tree uh, on top and a potted starter plant. So now that we've done that, we're going to put in our stall. Again, this has been customized with just some default variations. And on top of that, we're going to be putting some carnations and a sewing project. So this will make it look like a florist's. And next to that, we're going to be putting some natural furniture. So we've got our natural square table here with our succulent plant on top. And next to that, we're going to be putting some natural garden chairs, making sure that they're facing towards the table. So just turn that around. Once we've done that, we're just going to be putting down a log stool with an anthurium on top. Turn that around. And in the corner here, we're just going to put a garden lantern, which we've got in the bronze variation. So this is the entire design. I really like this little florist area. I never thought to use the sewing project as a sort of like a florist kit, but let me know what you think of those combinations of items. I really like them. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. So for this design, you're going to need these catalog items and DIYs. So we're going to start with a four by four square. And then in the center, we're going to be putting two squares. So we're just going to go around. Making sure that we connect it to the end there. And then we're going to fill in the rest of this area. Once we've done that, we've got our two squares in the center and we're ready to build. So once we've done that, we're going to be putting in the first item and that's our stonework kitchen. I'm just going to pull it away from the edge there with a steamer basket set on top. Once we've done that, we're going to be putting in our plain party lights arch, making sure it's right up against that kitchen uh, item there. We, again, with a stall that we've customized in one of the default variations. This pattern here you can get from Able Sisters if you talk to Sable multiple days in a row. Then we've just got some items uh, like the miso ramen and the extravagant meal and a log bench in front of that. Once we've done that, we're going to put some paper lanterns next to the log bench. This just helps fill out the design a little bit on the sides here. We're going to make sure that it's definitely off the wood and right in line with the log bench. Now, once we've done that, we're going to be filling in these gaps on the side. But first, we're going to put in our pine tree. So I had to back up a little bit here because this item is huge, but we're going to push that right up against the stonework kitchen. And then we're going to be putting a vertical banner and making it sure, making sure we push it just inside there. You can push the pine tree a little bit closer, but I don't mind it there as well. Then we've got a barrel with some firewood on top. So next to that, we're just going to put down a Semazuke barrel and turning that around. So I like to turn it around so that the lid is facing the stall. And then next to that, we're going to be putting the stacked variation of the Semazuke barrels, turning that around with some jarred mushrooms on top. Next to that, we're going to put a mochi pestle right next to the stall. And that's the entire design. I love these little Japanese cooking areas that I've been obsessed with lately. So let me know what you think of this particular variation of these types of designs and if you try it on your island, because I'm thinking I will. <laughs> so for this design, we're going to need these catalog items and DIYs. So this one's a little bit more trickier. We're going to start with five across and then we're going to go three up. Then we're going to go diagonally and put a square there and then fill in the rest of the design. So we're just going to go four across, join it up with the uh, back there and then fill in the rest here. Then we're going to round all the corners on the front. So once we've done that, we're going to start with our plant petition and we're going to 
put that about one square in and in front of that we're going to put a castle gate. Now the idea is that the plant petition is meant to be behind like in the center of the castle gate which is why we moved it one square in because when we push it back you'll actually see it's in the right position. So from there we're going to be putting in our Schefflera and we're just going to push that right up against the plant petition and then we're going to put a Monstera next to that and in front of that a coffee plant. Pushing that right in, turning that around so it's really, really bushy. <laughs> then next to that, uh, right in front of, oh yeah, the left hand side of the castle gate, we're going to be putting an iron garden chair in the green variation with the table in front of it, with another chair on either side. And before we put down the last chair, we're just going to put a glass holder with, uh, with a candle inside and our iron garden chairs just to finish that off. Then next to that, we're going to be putting a vintage stool with a Berliner on top. And this is that really cute courtyard design. This would look really cute, I think, as like, yeah, as I said, like a gap filler or maybe next to a house even. So yeah, let me know what you think of these designs, which one was your favorite. I think the this one here, the coffee stall, the, flower, uh, the florist and the Japanese uh, themed cooking, uh, cooking station uh, or pop-up restaurant. <laughs> I think those are my favorite. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below and you're more than welcome to try any of these designs on um, your island. I highly encourage it. And if you do, don't forget that you can tag me on Instagram and Twitter. I love seeing all the designs that you guys put on your islands and yeah, I would love to see it. And uh, don't forget that I also do live streams on Fridays if you want to come join me on those. And if you missed one, you can always catch them in a live stream uh, in the playlist of live streams. <laughs> so thank you for watching and getting to the stage of the video. And I want to thank my patrons who support this channel. So that's Becca Crossing, Brittany, Becca Simi, Jackie Grove, and Dawn Slade. Thank you so much. And if you want to see more videos and more playlists and inspiration, I have you covered here. So have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.